Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to clean thermal paste off a processor. And if you don't know what thermal paste is, it's the residue that is put between the processor and the heat sink and fan. Um, generally, when you take the heat sink off a processor, you'll notice um, some burnt residue that's the um, used thermal paste. Um, you won't notice this on my processor that I'm using because I actually a couple days ago I put a heat sink on this processor and I took it off because I didn't like it. Didn't fit on the motherboard correctly. So you the, the action never even turn it on so the um, thermal paste didn't activate. So you, it's, it's clear, you can't really see it. Um, but it's there. So okay, so a couple things you're gonna need are your you're gonna need some lint-free coffee filters. And you have to use them because they're lint free. You don't want to get any lint on the processor when you're cleaning it. And coffee filters are cheap and easy to use. 70% alcohol to um, disinfect it and get any kind of other residues or chemicals off of it. And what I like to use is Goo Gone. It is very effective at getting off thermal paste off processors and heat sinks. Just make sure you have to clean the processor with alcohol after using it. Okay, and then also what I like to use is I have a the case that one of my AMD processors came in and I keep this around because it's nice to have because it has this little black thing I know is safe to use on processors. So when I'm cleaning it I actually like to use this black thing that the processors came on. So if you have if you ever get a processor or find one of these, they're good to have around. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a little dish and put a little bit of alcohol into it because you're going to be using this quite a bit. Just a little bit, you barely need any. And prep your processor. Obviously, pins down. So first I like to prep it with some alcohol. So I'll take the, um, the coffee filter and I'll rip a little triangle out of it. Like, you know, about that size and fold it up so it doesn't seep through. Just dip it in just a little bit, just, just barely any. And then just wipe off the processor. Now be careful, the actually the um, the green part's the actual processor chip and this other the other metal part's actually just another heat sink. So tr try as hard as you can not to get any kind of residue anywhere except for the metal part. Throw that away. Now I'm gonna use some goo gone, so I'm gonna tear another piece off of a coffee filter, fold it again. Take my cap off. And this has a little hole, so you can pretty much do just kind of that type of thing. Just get a little bit on there. And again, careful not to get anywhere else except for the top part. And depending how much thermal paste is left on the processor, you may need to repeat some of these steps, especially the Goo Gone step, multiple times. Generally, I find when I have to, um, when I um, clean a processor that's been used, so there's a lot of thermal paste left on it that's been burnt on, I usually find myself doing the Goo Gone step about four times, between three and four times. But there, this hasn't been used, so like I said, this is going to be a little bit shorter. I just figured it would be a good opportunity to make a YouTube video because I was looking for a YouTube video of this and I couldn't find a good one of cleaning a processor. I'm gonna do this twice. And you have to make sure to get all of it off. You want it to be nice and shiny so you can actually read, you know, what the what's engraved into the metal and the processor name and all that. Alright, important step, you need to now after you've used Goo Gone, you have to have to have to um, clean it off with alcohol. Okay. 
And I generally repeat this step twice at the end, just to be safe. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to get all of the wet alcohol off of it, just use another piece of your coffee filter, and try to get it all off. Okay, and now you are pretty much done. Now you just need to make sure you clean off any residue off your heat sink if you're going to be reusing a heat sink. And it's the same exact steps. And thank you.